The velocity instruction is used to control a single axis and drive that axis to a target velocity. The axis has to have been set up in the high speed I.O. setup. To see a video on the axis configuration, please see the quick start video link in the description below. This instruction can only control a single axis, but you can run multiple velocity instructions simultaneously that are controlling other axes. Use this drop down menu to select which axis this instruction will control. Here you can see the basic configuration for each axis. And if you need to make changes to that setup, this direct link will take you to the setup wizard. For this mode of operation, once the instruction is triggered, the motion will accelerate at this rate until it reaches the target velocity, and then continue at this velocity. If the target velocity is changed while this instruction is enabled, it will either decelerate or accelerate at these rates until it reaches the new target velocity. A zero value in the target velocity brings the movement to a stop. For these options, you can either enter in a tag address or enter in a direct numerical value. This controls the direction of the movement. Positive will ignore the sign of the target velocity and always move in a positive direction. Negative the same, but in a negative direction. And if this is selected, it will move in the direction of the sign of the target velocity. The immediate stop option, when enabled, specifies that the PLC should immediately stop sending pulses when the instruction is disabled. This will abruptly abort the move and could possibly lose the axis home reference. When disabled, the PLC follows a specified deceleration rate if the instruction is deactivated. The axis will decelerate until reaching zero velocity. This S-curve option will help smooth the transition of the velocity change to reduce jerk and help prevent position loss due to inertia or friction loss. Here are some examples of how the motion will be affected by this S-curve option. The values range from zero to 100%. And finally, here are the status flags for this instruction. See the help file for how these operate during the process and a full listing of the error codes can also be found in the help file. To see more information on the Click Plus motion options, please see this playlist. And make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel for new products and solutions.